So, while I was sitting here looking at this thing, I noticed there was a little floaty in here. But we're going to go ahead and drink it, even though it's a tidbit questionable. What up, piglets? It's your favorite alcoholic tanner coming back at you with another beer review. Get your weekend started off right, I guess, without further ado. Let's get this Sierra Nevada all Treves. I'm sure I said that wrong, but who cares? It all tastes the same going down, which is a lie because it tasted. Hmm. It smells all right. probably smells funky because there was a floaty in it. Maybe we'll see it going in. There it is. Yes! I'll, I highly doubt you can see it. There's a floaty in there. <laughs> oh, God. It's like a worm. Don't eat the worm! But we're going to anyways. <laughs> so, let's see. I think if I read this right... 4.5% alcohol by volume. Alrighty then. Ah, uh, smells skunky. Oh my god. <laughs> that tastes terrible. By far, the worst beer so far, next to the root beer. That tastes disgusting. What are they even going for? California for temperatures one time. Digits perfecting the warm weather beer is a priority. Absolutely. We happen upon a sweet tangy blend of native grown prickly pear cactus and grapefruit combined with zing of a traditional ghost for a vicious but delicious twist on the stodgy summer sippers. I don't know what the hell they're going for but it tastes disgusting. You can definitely taste the tanginess. That's one. I guess on a scale of piglets, I'll give this one a five. And then one thing I definitely hate about it, it's a little floaty thing that's sitting at the bottom of this, which I'm going to end up drinking, and I hope it's not, like, squishy, because that's going to really make me sick. I probably will throw up. I'm not going to lie. The one thing I had to pick that I liked about it... Man, that's going to be hard, because I don't like anything about this. I guess I applaud their efforts. Snaps and claps. Uh, have you ever had one of those beers that were just so bad you just can't keep sipping on it? It just becomes one of those chug beers where you just have to chug it and make sure because you don't want to waste your money. Because that's like one of the beer gods forbidden rules: don't throw out your beer. You chug the beer and be done with it, so you don't have to sip on it. That's this beer. <sighs> All right, here we go. Salut. Nope. Floaty thing was looking at me. Couldn't do it. <laughs> nope. <coughs> oh, God. If you tried it, uh, let us know what you thought about it. I mean, I wasn't a fan of it, but if you are, that's all you. Hopefully yours didn't have floaties in it. Contest is still going, so don't forget to do that. Congratulate Colin on the 100th uh, food review. Um, also... Have a safe Memorial Weekend. Uh, I'll get back with you next week with the last one of this six-pack, and then we'll start trying to get all the beers, like I said last week, I'm pretty sure. Trying to get beers that y'all suggested that we can get, or we can find, and then we'll do it that way. Well, I will see y'all next week. Safe Memorial Weekend. The twos.